It was the year 1996. God released the ministry mantle that was to take the gospel to the nations through the instrumentality of drama. We give thanks to God for his good and his mercies endures forever. It's been 25 years of God's faithfulness in Program International. We thank the Almighty God. We thank him for his grace. We thank him for the anointing. We thank him for his protection. We thank him for his faithfulness. On behalf of all the members of Program International, we have come to say, Father, we are grateful. The journey of Program International started in the year 1996. Meanwhile, prior to this time, we gather ourselves together as young brothers and sisters around early 1995. We wanted to be acting, singing, just, you know, moving from one place to another, acting and singing until early 1996 that the Lord began to reach out to some of us, very few of us, because we were so many then, about the need for us to really get what the Lord was having in mind for us as a ministry. And then we started by praying, fasting, trusting the Lord for what He will have us do as a people. The spiritual exercise that preceded the commissioning of the ministry actually led so many people to drop out. Uh, many people could not cope, many people did not see what we saw by then. But we want to thank God, the few of us that saw the vision, that understood the mandate, came together. And on the 3rd of May, the year 1996, Program International was officially inaugurated. Because of our zeal, because of our passion and yearning to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through drama, we wrote letters to so many churches, beginning from our cities to other cities and towns and villages, preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ on stage. We canvassed so many churches preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through drama. And in the year 1998, two years after the ministry started, uh, we embarked on our first film project. That was what gave birth to Program Production. Program Production is the production ham of Program International. And since 2008, the Lord launched us into filmmaking. I mean, why when this film production aspect of the ministry started, we did not abandon the stage drama production. Up to today, programs to minister on stage. Uh, from our first frame, which was titled Emikemi in the year 1998, up to today, the Lord has been faithful in giving us messages for His people out there. And there has been amazing testimony, all to the glory of God. It was that same year, 1996, that the ministry started, that God gave us a vision to organize an annual Christmas drama outreach, tagged Drama Reviver. It's an annual program that we hold every 25th of December, Christmas evening. We started in the year 1996, and without missing any year, the Lord has taken us from one level of grace to another, we moved from a local church where we started the outreach to a bigger hall in the city of Ilorin, Kwara State, where our ministry is based. Each year, we either do a stage ministration or we premiere a new movie. And there has been amazing testimonies to the glory of God. And according to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, Paul said to Timothy, The things that you have learned of me among many witnesses commit also to faithful men who will be able to teach others. It was on this premise that uh, program started uh, what we call Program School of Ministry. 
It's an arm of Program International where we train brethren on the heart of Christian drama evangelism. This training is done in Milori Kwara State, and we also move from uh, our base to other cities and nations around the world to train people in the heart of Christian drama evangelism. Uh, the major aim of Program School of Ministry is that where program cannot get to, we can raise men who will be able to work in those areas because uh, the work of the ministry is so wide that a ministry or the group of drama and film ministry that exists today globally are not enough to conquer those lands. And we thank God because through this vision of Program School of Ministry, the Lord has raised Mighty Hamid, fellow laborers in the vineyard of Christ that has been faithfully following the master in the area of Christian drama evangelism and filmmaking. To the glory of God, aside from Program School of Ministry in Nigeria, the Lord has helped us to train people in few places that the Lord has helped us to reach. And we thank God for that awesome grace. The Lord has given program the privilege to go to other nations apart from Nigeria for the work of Christian drama evangelism and training. We've been to Ghana, we've been to uh, Liberia, we visited so many counties in Liberia uh, preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, most of these African nations uh, we preach using the instrumentality of Christian drama, particularly our films. And uh, we also organize uh, gifts in terms of our films, books, and Christian materials for some of our people over there. Uh, by the grace of God, it's been a thing of joy to us. We were, we were also privileged to go to Zambia during the shoot of uh, Broken Cross, one of our films which is playing on our YouTube channel. Uh, we were in the UAE, Dubai to be precise, for the filming of that film. The Lord has been faithful to us, and uh, we do appreciate His mighty hands of favor over our program international. Couples in Ministry Forum is a vision that the Lord gave us in the ministry. Uh, because we have so much burden for homes. We believe that uh, if homes can get it right, the Church of God will get it right. Our community will get it right. And the nation of the world will get it right. So there is a way that we strategically trust God to help us influence homes for Christ. And so some years ago, the Lord laid it in our heart. We gather couples, particularly those who are in ministry, because uh, we believe that uh, if a man cannot undo his hope, according to the injunction of scripture, he's not worthy to be a servant of God. So, and we know that the enemy is against hopes. So we, we gather couples in a very good hotel. Each time we hold the program, we ensure that it's a place that is convenient, where uh, couples will relax. We have prayers, discussion, teachings. We dance. We we do a lot of fun together. Uh, it's an atmosphere that is not tensed, but spiritually tensed, uh, where people are blessed. And since we started, there has been amazing testimony. We could not do it last year because of COVID-19. But by the grace of God, the preparation is in top gear for 2021 edition of Couples in Ministry. The program is free for all couples, particularly those who register to attend. Wow, uh, husband and wife series. About two years ago, the Lord said to me, uh, during one of my devotions that uh, is going to be helping me to 
write and produce film that will be released every week. So when I shared it with my wife, it was a vision that uh, was too much <laughs> because uh, it's somehow unprecedented. We've never done something like that before. And I remember we shot about two, three, about three or four episodes of short shots or drama that has to do with home. Even though we did not have a very active YouTube channel then, uh, I know we, 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 we've created our YouTube channel since 2015. But uh, last year, uh, during COVID, uh, we were home because of lockdown and uh, we prayed, we were trusting God because we did not just want to sit down and not ministry uh, because we did not even know how long it was going to take for us to be home. And then one of the days, uh, my wife and I and our kids, we were playing football in the compound and one of the brothers that was also there was recording the football that we were playing. And after the game, he showed me the video that he recorded. We never planned it. And I saw a message there when uh, I was playing with my wife and uh, I dribbled her and uh, I fed her. And she came to my rescue to bring me home after falling down. Uh, that short clip is on our YouTube channel. You can, you can check it out because I put it there. And I saw a message there that uh, uh, as a husband, it's not good to dribble your wife. Because after dribbling your wife, most times she's the one that will come to your rescue when you fall. And I put it on uh, the channel and a lot of people watched it and they were ministered to. Few days after, uh, the Lord gave me a body, reminded me about the vision of weekly filmmaking. And we started. And the first episode that was uploaded was... Um, Is it food? Is it food? That was on the 15th of May, year 2020. Uh, by the grace of God, it's close to a year now. And the Lord has been giving us the grace. Uh, doing short film every week is not easy. The tedious part is not even the tedious production process. But the fact that you've got to get a message from the Lord for his people. Uh, we believe so much that uh, God's people uh, have different needs. And it is the Spirit of God that searches the heart of men. Uh, uh, so it's our obligation to wait upon the Lord and uh, trust the Lord for message of the hour. And the Lord has been faithful. And we are sure that uh, he will continue to be faithful. By the grace of God, the channel is going to be supplying the divine mind of God to his people as far as Christian hope is concerned. And I also want to thank God for all the devoted cast and crew. It's a teamwork. The Lord has blessed us with faithful laborers. There are a lot of people behind the camera that you don't get to see. They work tirelessly. You know, after the shoot, the, the post-production, sometimes to meet the, the deadline of uh, the early hour of Friday, it's taking a lot of people sleepless night. And the Lord, we, the Lord is rewarding them, and the Lord will continue to reward all of us. And we also, on this note, want to thank all our partners. The Lord has raised you for this work. And uh, there is no one that God will forget. My Heavenly Father will continue to reward you, continue to open the heavens over your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your gift. Thank you for making it happen. Uh, our vision is that in this perverse world, in this world where particularly on social media and entertainment industry. You see a lot of things that pollute the heart of men. Our vision is to make godly alternatives available to God's people. And the Lord has been faithful. By the grace of God, very soon we're going to be celebrating God's faithfulness uh, to mark one year 
of uh, husband and wife series. We will mark five years. We will do 10 years and many more by the grace of God. So we thank God for that vision. We thank God for all our subscribers. I want to appeal for those who are watching that are yet to subscribe, that you please subscribe. This will afford you the opportunity to get notified anytime we upload any content on this channel. Program International, we also partner with other drama groups or producers. Probably you have a message, the Lord is leading you to do a film, and uh, you don't have the technical know-how, or you are looking for godly content. That is very important, uh, that will minister to people. And uh, you want to partner with our ministry, you can get in touch anywhere in the world. You can get in touch for collaboration, for consultancy, and uh, for partnership. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. For the future of Program International, there is a scripture that readily comes to mind. Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, We are not talking, we are not showcasing ourselves like someone that has apprehended. We have not achieved, we have not even arrived. The Lord has so much in stock for us. Our greatest desire is to walk in His will as He leads us, as He directs us, to do His will per time. Uh, we know that the future holds so much for us. And as we walk in His footsteps, by the grace of God, all of us will live to see the exploit that God has in stock for us. Once again, I want to appreciate all of you who believe so much in our ministry. Thank you for your prayers. God bless you. I am Evangelist Mike Bamiloye, the president of Mount Zion Faith Ministries. I am using this time to greet on behalf of myself, my family, and the entire members of Mount Zion Faith Ministries. Evangelist Ayobana Deboyega and all the entire team and great ministers of God in Program International Ministry. On the occasion of this 25th year anniversary, the Silver Jubilee of serving the Lord, pulling down strongholds and breaking into frontiers in drama ministry. We pray for you that the Lord will be with you. We congratulate you on this, on this wonderful occasion, on the wonderful exploit, the various exploits you have done in drama ministries, the film locations, the weekly television series that have blessed millions of souls all across the world over the social media, and all the movie locations, even up to the latest, the Philosopher's Cross. We thank the Lord for your life. We praise the Lord for the boldness and courage He has given you and the entire team members to keep forging ahead, to keep pressing on. And we pray that the Lord is going to be with you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 says, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and the labor of love, which you have showed towards his name, that ye have ministered to the saints and you do ministers. I therefore want to leave these words with you in Psalm 1 verse 3. It says, You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And this word is coming unto you and all the team members on this occasion of this new phase of your ministerial lives. The Silver Jubilee 25th year anniversary is the new phase. You enter into a new phase and I prophesy upon your life that according to Psalm 1 verse 3, you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bring forth its fruit in its season and its leaves shall not leave, that shall not wither, and whatsoever you do shall prosper. So I use that verse to speak into your, into your ministry and into your lives and into the life of all the entire members of the program International Ministry, that you shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. As you step into this new phase of your life, you shall be like a tree planted 
by the rivers of water. You will continually bring forth fruits in its season. Fruits of souls, you will bring it unto God in its season. You will not relent. You will not faint. You will not be tired. Every one of you, you shall, you shall, you shall not wither in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatsoever you do shall prosper. Therefore, finally, I want to encourage you with Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. And it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. I am speaking to you, speaking to the program, ministry, and all the entire members, that as God has not forgotten your labor of love in the way you minister to the saints and you still minister, I am using this word according to the Holy Spirit put in my heart to encourage you from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Every member of program, the Lord is saying to you, I, 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 I'm speaking through this word, be ye steadfast, be standing, you are unmovable, let nothing move your vision, let nothing take you away from this work. The speed with which you are working presently, let it not reduce, let it increase, because by the help of the Holy Spirit, you are working at a considerable high speed presently, bringing out all those productions from time to time, bringing out weekly television program that is blessing many lives over the YouTube is by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I am saying that you should move forward, be steadfast, be movable, always abandoned in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain by Christ Jesus. And the Lord is going to strengthen you. The Lord is going to increase you. The Lord is going to enlarge your course and help you to do greater and mightier things than what you have done presently. So once again, I congratulate you and I greet you. The Lord will establish you. The Lord will increase you. Keep moving. Don't relent. Don't slow down. Let the speed continue and the Lord himself will reward you in Jesus' name. Once again, congratulations from Monsanfet Ministries and all the members of this great ministry, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are grateful to the Lord for the tremendous impact the program has made through the years. 25 years in serving the Lord uh, is not a little thing to talk about. We have been used of God to touch lives, to save souls, bring back backsliders and to minister in different parts of the world. We thank the Lord for program and we are grateful to the Lord for the impact that God has used them to make. We thank God for Ayobami and his wife and God has made them the leading lights of that ministry. And God has used them tremendously. Uh, their meetings in different parts have attracted hundreds in fact, thousands. And we thank the Lord for testimonies that keep coming in as to what God has been using them to do. Uh, been to Liberia, been to Eastern Africa, been to uh, Dubai, other parts of the world. And as great as these testimonies are, I know that by the grace of God, the best days of program are yet ahead. Amen. And by the grace of God, they will get there. Amen. The ministry will be what God wants it to be. Amen. And by the grace of God, no member, I prophesy and I pray, that no member of program will end up in hell. Amen. None of them will be missing. Amen. And the marriage of our life. Amen. God will continue to be glorified Amen. in that ministry and its operations. Amen. Thank God for the wisdom. We thank God for the spiritual ingenuity that God has given to them to be able to come up with messages uh, that keep blessing people in different parts. God bless you. It's well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just before I give my um, words of congratulations to you, I am particularly happy. My husband too is happy and we are grateful to God for your lives. Uh, evangelists, I'm sure you will remember so many, many years ago when the Lord gave me a word for you that God was going to lift you 
he must remain humble. And uh, I am so grateful to God that he's bringing that word to pass uh, in a very uh, presence. We are very grateful to the Lord. Just like Daddy said, you are just beginning, and God will be greatly honored in your life more than ever before in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Congratulations to you. And if you go to the you, the Lord is your strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations, God bless. Congratulations. I am Shala Mike Agbuola. By God's grace, the president of Evom World Network. It gives me such a great pleasure to do this because seeing the growth of a baby and the baby becoming uh, an adult and doing greatly for God is what will give anybody a great pleasure. I'm saying this because what began as a little thing 25 years ago, God in his benevolent love has made such a great input into to become what it is today. I am talking about Progressive Drama Ministry, known for short as Program International. This ministry began from a very, very humble beginning, part of which I think I'm privy to by God's grace. What began like child's play has grown by the grace of God to become such an embodiment of blessing to the entire universe. Not only Nigeria, obviously, not only Loring, where the ministry is based, but by all means, the entire universe, because the work of this ministry traverses the entire world now, with testimonies coming from all around the world. I am very, very happy to see this happening. It is my prayer that God will help our beloved brother, brother Ayobani Adeboiga, and the entire members of the team to continue to forge forward for the sake of the kingdom. It's my prayer as well that the measure of grace God has given to them will never go down. The Bible says and makes it quite clear that it's not of him that will it, neither is it of him that run it, but it's of God that showeth mercy. I pray that the mercy of God will answer for them in the years ahead. The much they have done for God will be little compared to the very much more they will be able to do for God in Jesus' name. Uh, glory be to God. My name is Reverend Dr. Solomon Olawi James, the senior pastor Emmanuel Baptist of Saboke in Loring. I give glory to God and I want to specially congratulate Prodram International. We give thanks to God. It's just like yesterday. I had the opportunity of knowing the ministry over 20 years ago. And today the ministry is celebrating the 25th anniversary. What a great God, a marvelous God we serve. I want to specially congratulate our brother, the evangelist Goega Ayobami, and the entire program family for this great celebration of God's faithfulness, of God's goodness. Indeed, the last 25 years has been wonderful and God has taken the ministry from one level to another. Today we can celebrate the faithfulness of God in the life of the ministry. And the ministry has been highly impacted. By the grace of God, I've been following with the ministry since I was in fellow Baptist Church of Lodge. And we want to thank God that we have not been disappointed. Many have started and they have collapsed. Many have started, they have messed up things. But this is a ministry that I've been keeping the faith this is a ministry that has been passing the undiluted word of God to people in various means, especially through drama. And the ministry have gone from just stage ministry to film ministry and also to even train other drama ministers. Uh, what a great ministry God has given to us. Once again, I congratulate the ministry on this silver jubilee anniversary. And I pray that this ministry will go from glory to glory. It is my prayer that the glory of the latter house will surpass the former. I say to Bragwega, our great evangelist, that God will grant you greater grace for greater exploits in life 
and ministry. Congratulations and God bless you. I celebrate you. You are doing well. Move on from glory to glory. The sky is not your limit. The Lord is taking you to a height. Congratulations and God bless you. I celebrate you. God bless you. Happy anniversary. Program International, congratulations on your anniversary. We give God all the glory. We give God all the glory. I felicitate with you on behalf of myself, my wife, and the whole Tricom Worldwide. We give, we say we give God all the glory for what he is doing in your life, what he has done, what he's doing, and what he will yet do. Thank God for the lives that you have touched. Thank God for the ones that you are touching. Thank God for generation unborn that you will touch. We give God all all the glory. We bless God for where he has taken you. We bless God for where he has taken you from. We ascribe all glory to him. I declare to you that in the name of Jesus, you will do greater works. I declare greater works you will do in the name of Jesus. The natural of God upon your life shall be multiplied. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace of God upon your life shall be multiplied. The Lord God Almighty shall continue to walk with you, walk in you in the name of Jesus Christ enjoy many 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 more years in the vineyard of the Most High Jehovah in Jesus name congratulations once again God bless you real good in Jesus name amen hi I am Reverend Yemi Adepoji on behalf of my family and the entire family of Victory Drama Group VDG we are saying congratulations to evangelist Ayobami Adeboyega, his wife, and the entire family of program for this great 25 years in the service of the Lord. Program is not only celebrating 25 years, but they are celebrating 25 years of notable service for the Lord. The achievement is there for all to see. But I'm praying one prayer for you that the best of your testimony in these 25 years will soon be the least with what God is going to do in the next dispensation that you are entering into. I have a word for you, and that is in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Apostle Paul said, I press the mark for the price of high calling of God in Christ Jesus. There are still higher mark. There are still higher things to achieve for God. And as you press forward, the Lord will give you victory. The Lord will give you greater testimony. I pray for all program family. The devil will not retire you, but you continue to refire for the Lord. Once again, congratulations for these 25 years of great service. On to the Lord. Ofwa, that Jackie Program International, Kope Odome Dogba, near Odom 2021. Individually, all members of the uh, ministry, they are progressing. So, Oje Ayowa Kupo Kupo, since 25 years ago, we did not even record of record death of any member of the ministry. So, Lake Otope Osi Jope Ofwa. As in Bolon, Bopu, Tiolon, Moalo, a KKP, Sher and Sher Prudam, at Bolon, Bopu, along Mamma de Bella Lafia, the Rukojis, along Yote was you are So we congratulate all the members of the program international. I celebrate with my son, Ayobami Adeboyega, and the program family on the 25th anniversary of Program International. Congratulations on this your silver jubilee. I wish you greater anointing, greater grace for the exploits ahead of you. God bless you. Well done. Uh, I give God glory for the Program uh, International. Thank God for all the good that are working together. There is no discrimination in the Program. You work as a team. And that's the what makes them they work so easy, even for the leader. The leader is not because he knew how to do it, it's because of the cooperation of the, the follower. And I appreciate them. And I pray that uh, people say sky is the limit. No. 
heaven will be their limit. They will be above sky in the name of Jesus. And they will do wonder in the name of in this ministry god will take them to be on the top in the name of jesus and i pray for them and the entire family uh you will not be found guilty of this uh, call and uh, among the people that matter in this ministry the lord will count you worthy. thank you i love you god bless you my name is Shesan Falaya. i pray that god will continue to watch the ministry strong in wisdom in in everything in every ramification and god will continue to bless the leadership and the members of the ministry. So happy anniversary to all of us. My name is Olasun Kobe Solomon. I am the president of Jatem Global Network. And I want to thank God for that ministry. It's a ministry that I can vouch for. It's a ministry that is a trailblazer. I want to thank God for that ministry. A lot of things that God has used the ministry to do. And personally, my ministry and even my person have benefited a lot from that ministry. I want to wish them greater heights. Whatever thing God has used Program International to do in the time past is just a tip of the iceberg because I see God taking you to greater heights, conquering more lands and affecting more lives all over the world. Happy anniversary and God bless you in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for this time. The Lord has been so faithful to us for the past 25 years. We want to appreciate him for his loving kindness. We want to appreciate him for his protection over every member. My name is Sunday Adebayo Ezekiel, the General Secretary of the Ministry, one of the foundational members. My name is Ulua Damlari Maike. My name is Adenike Adebayo. My name is uh, Yokule Abosede. My name is Maiwa Samuel. My name is Bamidele Blessing. My name is uh, Alao Bukola. My name is Adebayo Gatulu Alashe. I have a privilege to join this ministry since 2004. I joined the ministry 2004. I was not born when the ministry started. I joined this ministry in 2009. I joined this ministry in the year 2010. I joined the ministry program international in the year 2011. I joined program 2010. I joined program international uh, January 2012. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy 25th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. The ministry has contributed so greatly to my life. And I can tell you that at every bit of it, God has been faithful. So I join my voice with the rest of the brethren to say to God be the glory. Greater years. I wish that the ministry will go higher, higher, higher. I believe the Lord is just starting with us and will continue to soar higher. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy anniversary to Program International! Thank God for all the pastors that has given us their altar to minister. Thank God for all our fathers in ministries. Program is not a church. Uh, all the members have different denominations where we worship. Thank God for all our pastors who are feeding us with God's word. Thank God for all our fathers in ministry. Thank God for my father and mentor in ministry, Evangelist Mike and Mommy Gloria Bamiloe. You've been so amazing. You've been so wonderful. Thank you for answering the call of God. Thank you for being an example to follow. I also appreciate Evangelist Shola Mike Angola, the president of Evon World Network. By privilege, uh, Program and Evon are located geographically in the same state, in the same city. And when Program started, Evon was a good example unto us. Thank you so much for mentoring us. Thank you for believing in this ministry. Thank you for your consistency. I also thank Evangelist David Kola Okewu, the president of Tricom based in the United Kingdom. Um, I remember your sacrifice in coming to direct the early films of Program Productions. And so many drama ministers, Reverend Yemi Adekoju of VDG, thank you for coming low to our level and relating with us. If I will continue to mention names, I'm not going to end this interview. Thank you, everyone. Program is saying, we are grateful to God. 
and we are grateful to you. God bless you. Amen.